Let's talk about something exciting. BYD is shaking up the EV world with its next generation blade battery, launching in 2025. Before you start imagining new EVs on the roads tomorrow, let's set some expectations. This video covers the advancements BYD has made with their new blade battery and what it means for the future of electric vehicles. BYD's blade battery promises more range, faster charging, and lower costs. We'll break down how this impacts EVs, the battery market, and most importantly, you. Also, I want to let you know that all the sources we use to put this video together are linked in the description below so you can check them out yourself. First, let's rewind to 2020 when BYD introduced the Blade battery. This innovation quickly gained attention for its exceptional safety, durability, and affordability. Unlike NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, batteries that rely on pricey metals like nickel and cobalt, the blade battery utilizes LFP, lithium iron phosphate, technology. So, what makes LFP so appealing? It's safer, more stable, and significantly cheaper. However, it typically offers lower energy density compared to NMC batteries, meaning it stores less energy per kilogram. Think of energy density as the size of your car's fuel tank. The bigger it is, the farther you can go on a single charge. Now, BYD is ready to take the Blade battery to the next level with Blade 2.0, launching in the first half of 2025. This updated version is expected to boost energy density to 210 watt-hours per kilogram from the current 150 watt-hours per kilogram, a significant jump. Higher energy density means your EV can travel farther on a single charge, reducing the need for frequent stops at charging stations. But that's not all. Blade 2.0 also features improved charge and discharge rates. Let's talk C-rate, a measure of how quickly a battery can charge or discharge. Imagine C-rate as the speed at which you can fill up your car's gas tank. A 1 C-rate means filling up takes 1 hour. Now an 8 C-rate, that's like filling up in just under 8 minutes. The short blade format with a 16 C discharge rate means ultra-fast performance, ideal for high-demand EVs. BYD plans to launch two versions of the new Blade 2.0 battery. High energy density density blade offers up to 210 watt hours per kilogram with an 8c discharge rate and 3c charge rate short blade format provides 160 watt hours per kilogram but with a higher discharge rate of 16c and an 8c charge rate while byd aims to cut the cost of the high energy blade by 15 percent the short blade format might be priced similarly to or slightly higher than the current blade due to production complexities and limited supplier options for critical components this means suppliers hold more control over pricing, making it tougher for BYD to keep costs low across all battery types. Nonetheless, BYD's goal is clear. Deliver premium LFP batteries that compete with NMC batteries, but at LFP prices. This could lead to more affordable EVs without compromising on performance. Now, let's zoom out and examine the broader landscape, the fierce EV battery price war. While many focus on EV automakers slashing vehicle prices, the real battleground is among battery manufacturers. BYD, the world's second largest EV battery maker with a 16.4% market share through September 2024, is up against industry giant CATL, which commands a 36.7% share. CATL has aggressively reduced prices, dropping their VDA spec LF FP batteries from 0.9 WEN per watt hour two years ago to a mere 0.35 WEN per watt hour today. This significant price cut pressures competitors like BYD to innovate and lower their costs to stay competitive. According to Goldman Sachs research, average global EV battery prices are expected to fall by almost 50% by 2026, potentially bringing EV ownership cost parity with gasoline-fueled cars in the US on an unsubsidized basis. This battle isn't just about technology. It's also about pricing strategies. BYD's Blade 2.0 aims to offer NMC-like performance at LFP prices, positioning it as a premium option in a highly competitive market. So, why should you care about BYD's Blade 2.0 battery? Here's what it means for you. Lower costs. A 15% reduction in battery costs can translate to more affordable EVs, making electric cars accessible to a broader audience. Faster charging. With up to an 8C charging rate, you could potentially recharge your EV in minutes instead of hours, perfect for those on the go. Longer range. Higher energy density means longer driving ranges, reducing range anxiety, and the need for frequent charging stops. These improve 
improvements not only make EVs more practical for daily use, but also encourage more people to switch from gasoline-powered cars. Additionally, this competition between BYD and CATL is fueling rapid innovation, ensuring that battery technology continues to advance, benefiting everyone with better performance and lower prices. Imagine taking a long road trip without worrying about finding a charging station or waiting hours to recharge. This is the future BYD is working towards. In summary, BYD's next-generation blade battery could be a game-changer for the EV industry. By 2025, we might see electric vehicles with longer ranges, lightning-fast charging times, and more affordable prices, making EVs a viable option for many more people. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a potential revolution that could accelerate the widespread adoption of electric vehicles worldwide. However, challenges remain. Scaling production, ensuring a stable supply chain, and maintaining competitive pricing while enhancing performance performance are hurdles BYD and its rivals must overcome. But if BYD succeeds, it could set a new standard for EV batteries, benefiting both manufacturers and consumers. What do you think? Will BYD's Blade 2.0 battery meet the hype and help make electric vehicles mainstream? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights on the latest in technology and automotive innovations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.